lateral shift and vertical shift of rectangular glass slab in this video we are going to learn about how to find lateral shift and vertical shift of a glass slab practically this lab activity is given in 10th class physical science and from the chapter refraction of light at plane surfaces refraction through a glass slab how does light behave when a glass slab is introduced in its path let us see a thin glass slab is formed when a medium is isolated from its surroundings by two plane surfaces parallel to each other let us determine position and nature of the image formed when the slab is placed in front of an object let us do an activity aim of this lab activity is determination of position and nature of image formed by a glass slab material required for this activity are glass slab protractor scale some pins eraser pens drawing chart cardboard sheet and a pencil place a drawing chart on a cardboard sheet and clamp it let us place a glass slab in the middle of the paper and draw border line along the edges of the slab by using a pen remove the glass slab we will get a figure of a rectangle let us name the vertices of the rectangle as a b c and d let us take a point e on ab and draw a perpendicular line to the ab at this point e now draw a line from the point of intersection where side ab of rectangle and perpendicular meet in such a way that it makes 60 degrees angle with normal this line represents the incident ray falling on the slab and the angle it makes with normal represents the angle of incidence so here the angle of incidence is 60 degrees that means angle i is 60 degrees again keep the slab on paper such that it coincides with the sides of the rectangle abcd take two identical pins and stick them on the line making 60 degrees angle with normal such that they stand vertically with equal height by looking at the two pins from other side of the slab fix a pin in such a way that all these three pins appear to be along a straight line observe it carefully we fixed two red color pins on the incident ray and by looking those two red pins from this side the blue colored pin fixed in such a way that all these three pins appear to be along a straight line now take one more blue colored pin and fix it on the same straight line make sure that all pins appear to be along a straight line okay remove the glass slab now 
take out the two pins and mark the dots. Now draw a straight line by joining these dots formed by the pins up to the edge CD of the rectangle. This line represents the emergent ray of the light. Name the intersect point with F. Now draw a perpendicular line on CD at F with the help of protractor. The angle between emergent ray and normal is called angle of emergence. Let us measure this angle of emergence with the help of protractor. And now it is 60 degrees. So write down 60 degrees. This is angle of emergence and it is represented with angle E. So angle E is 60 degrees. And now join the two points E and F in a straight line. And this line represents the line of refraction. And this is the angle of refraction which is denoted with R. And now measure the angle of refraction that is 36 degrees. Okay, write down 36 degrees. And this is angle of refraction. Angle R is 36 degrees. These two angles are same. So this is also 36 degrees. By this experiment, we conclude that the incident ray is refracted at E by the glass lab and again refracted at F from the glass lab. Imagine that if there is no glass lab, this incident ray does not refract it and go through in a straight line. And now extend the incident ray. Here we observe that this incident ray is parallel to the emergent ray. And now draw a perpendicular line between these two parallel rays. And now measure the shortest distance between these parallel lines. Here we have it is 3.1 centimeters. Here the distance between these parallel rays is called lateral shift. So the value of lateral shift is 3.1 centimeters. Write down all these values. Angle I is 60 degrees. Therefore angle I is equal to 60 degrees. And angle R 36 degrees. Angle R is equal to 36 degrees. Angle E that is also 60 degrees. Angle E is equal to 60 degrees. Angle I and angle R are equal with each other. And now measure the thickness of the slab. That is thickness of the slab is here 6 centimeters. So write down thickness of the slab is 6 centimeters. The value of lateral shift is 3.1 centimeters. So write down lateral shift is equal to 3.1 centimeters. So by this procedure, we found the value of lateral shift of given glass slab. Now let us see how to find the vertical shift of given glass slab practically. Take a drawing chart and fix it on the cardboard sheet. Take the slab and place it in the middle of the chart. Draw border line along the edges of the slab by using a pen. 
Remove the slab from its place. The lines form a rectangle. Name the vertices as A, B, C and D. Draw a perpendicular to the side AB of the rectangle at any point on it. Place the glass slab again in the rectangle ABCD. Take a pin and place it at a point on the perpendicular line. Take another pin and by looking at the first pin from the other side of the slab, try to place the pin so that it forms a straight line with the first pin. Remember that keep our eye fixed along the edge of the glass slab and first pin is seen through the glass slab whereas the second pin is seen through the air that is outside of the glass slab. Observe carefully, these two pins are appear as on a straight line. Are they in the same line? No. But by looking this side, these two are appear in a straight line. Remove the slab and observe the positions of the pins. Remove the glass slab. Draw a perpendicular line from the second pin to the line on which the first pin is placed. Now remove the pins and mark the place of the first pin with a perpendicular line. So here the distance between these two points represents the vertical shift. Measure it with the scale. It is 1.9 centimeters. The distance between these two points is 1.9 centimeters. And the distance between these two lines is called vertical shift of this glass slab. So it is called vertical shift. This is the method to find the vertical shift of the glass slab. Conclusion of this video. By these two activities, we found that the value of lateral shift of this glass slab is 3.1 cm and the value of vertical shift of this glass slab is 1.9 cm. In the next video, we will see how to find the refractive index of the glass slab by using the value of its vertical shift.